Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over question 7.1.38-T in the MyLab Statistics homework for fall 2021. It happens to be question one. An epidemiologist plans to conduct a survey to estimate the percentage of women who give birth. How many women must be surveyed in order to be 90% confident that the estimated percentage is an error by no more than two points? We're completing parts A through C below. I always like to write down what we know. As we go through the problem, we see that we want to be 90% confident. So I'm going to write that down, 90% confidence level, CL. We also know that we our error is no more than two percentage points for the error. Now, error is E. And we can't use percentages in our calculations, so we change that to 0 0.02 for our error. We're looking for n. What is the sample size that we need in order to have no more than a 2% error for our 90% confidence level? For problems like this, there are two formulas that we use, and those formulas can be found on page seven, page seven of your 7.1 guided notes. You can see on page seven of your guided notes, we have determining sample size for proportions. And there are two formulas. If P, the estimate of P hat is known. So if we have a point estimate for the proportion, then we'll use the formula that says N equals critical value squared times P hat Q hat over E squared. If no point estimate is known, we replace the P hat Q hat with 0 0.025. So we do that when we don't have a best point estimate. Now, in the example that we're looking at, we do not have an estimate of p hat. So we will be using the formula that says n equals critical value squared times 0.25 over e squared. In this formula, we can see that we're looking for n, our sample size. We know e is 0 0.02. We do not know the critical value but we have the tools to find the critical value. We're finding the critical value associated with a 90% confidence level. In your guided notes for section 7.1, there is a table, common critical values. That table is on page three. You can see here in the table for a 90% confidence level, alpha is 0.10, but the critical value of Z alpha over two is 1.645. So we're going to fill in 1.645 in our equation. We now have N equals 1.645 squared times 0.25, since we don't have a um, best point estimate, and then over 0.02 squared. You can go ahead and put that in your calculator. Reminder, when we put this in our calculator, you want to either evaluate the whole numerator, then divide by the denominator, or make sure you have parentheses around the entire numerator. After calculating, you should get approximately 1,691.27. For these problems, you're always going to round up to the next integer, because if we just did 1,691, we wouldn't have enough to meet our n value that guarantees our confidence level, 90% uh, confidence level um, within two percentage points for error. So we always round up. So our answer will be n equals 1,692. For the second part of the problem, part B, we're assuming that a prior study conducted by an organization showed that 80% of women give birth. That means that our point estimate p hat is 0.8. If p hat is 0.8, then q hat would be 1 minus 0.8 or 0.2. We're using all of the same other information in the problem, however, so we don't know what n is. We know that e equals 0.02. 
and in this case we're going to have the same critical value for a 90% confidence level. So that will be 1.645. Looking at the notes for determining sample size on page seven of our 7.1 guided notes, this time we have an estimate. So we will be using the first equation where it has p hat and q hat. We'll fill in 1.645 squared for z alpha over 2 squared, then we'll times 0.8 times 0.2 for p hat times q hat, and then for e squared in the denominator, we'll have 0.02 squared. So put that in your calculator and see what you get. You should get about 1,082.41. Once again, we have to round up, so the answer in this case is 1,083 equals n. You can see that when you have a point estimate to work with, a smaller sample size is needed than when you have nothing known about the percentage to be estimated. Lastly, you're asked what is wrong with surveying selected, randomly selected adult women. Well, if you're randomly selecting adult women, that would result in an underestimate because some women will give birth to their first child after the survey is conducted. So it's important in this case to survey women who've completed the time during which they can give birth. That way your results are more accurate. So that would give us an answer C for this problem. I hope you found this helpful. You can always feel free to reach out to me with any questions that you have. Have a great day.